Mm, I'm actually working on a website called Any Work In. And Any Work In. Yes. Okay. Hello and welcome to the Early Coding Show. My name is David Ogunshola again and I'm your host on the Early Coding Show. Today I have a guest with me who surprisingly started coding not too long ago, but his journey into coding has been rather interesting. I'm going to leave the stories for you and then maybe as we discuss, um, the stories are going to come out. So I have with me today Richie. Hi Richie, welcome to the Early Coding Show. Thank you very much. All right, so um, speak to the audience, introduce yourself, let them get to know who you are. My name is Richie Obongomo and I am 12 years old. I started coding in the early coding program that was on August, that our break. And now I love um, creating websites and I'm currently learning JavaScript. Okay, so let me get it right. You're 12 years old. You started learning to code when? In the early coding um, When was program. that? August. August of this year? Yes. That's about, let's say, six months ago? Yes. So you started coding six months ago? Okay, interesting. Now, can you walk us in on your journey? What was your experience like learning to code? What did you start learning to code with? And how was your journey into coding? Mm. When I came here, I started learning with code.org. And when I finished that, I started learning Python. That was with Ozaria. Okay. And actually got stuck in, at some point, but uh, teachers helped me. And when I finished with that, and now um, I was curious and I started looking for what to do after I finished with Ozaria. And then I now thought, what if I can make a website? So that's how I started making websites. And now this is why. So what do you, when you, you thought of making websites, then that thought, what did you do with that thought? Mm, I went to online and I checked how to make a website and then I started seeing HTML and CSS. So from there, I, I took courses on HTML and CSS from W3 schools and also YouTube. Okay, so you learned block programming with code.org. You started learning Python with Rosaria, and you went to HTML and CSS all in the space of six months. Man, I want your brain. I wish I could learn that fast. Come on. I, I, I learned to code over four years in the university. And here's Richie. Within six months, he's already building websites. But now I'm curious to know what goes on in your mind. How has learning to code helped you think differently or see things differently? Has it changed the way you think? Yes. Okay, so tell me about it that. It has helped me to create or think about ideas that are crucial or like they are important in our society. Um, think you, you, these ideas, you were not thinking about them six months ago, but now you can think about them. Like, give me an example. Unemployment. Unemployment. Hmm. How is unemployment a problem in our society? It causes, it's, 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 one, it's one of the parts it takes part in the crime rate in Nigeria. Okay. It causes people to steal because maybe they are not like they need money for something that is that they desire, or maybe they have joined a bad group or a cult group, and they need to pay the the amount of money that they told them to pay, so they have to steal to pay the money. So unemployment causes people to steal. Is that what you're trying to say? Hmm. So, okay, agreed. Unemployment is a problem. Do you know the numbers of unemployed people in Nigeria or percentages? It's that 3.3% of Nigeria are unemployed. Yes. That's a large number. If you convert it, if you think about 200 million people, that's about 66 million people who are unemployed in Nigeria. So, what do you want to do about that? And now that programming is making you think of problems, what do you want to do about the problem? Mm, I'm actually working on a website called Any Work In and any work in yes okay and it's helping when, when it's going to be published it's going to help people to like re when they register they type in their like the category they want to work in like let's say someone wants to be a dry cleaner so they write it there and then they have their own profile so i i will make like i'll work on the database and store them there and then when I'm, i've done that it will when someone needs, let's say, a jackknife too, they go on the website and then look for that same category. And then the person that they think is good enough for them, they can pick the person or hire them. 
Mm. So people who don't have jobs come to tell people what they can do. And then those who need them come there and they can find people there. Yes. You believe that's going to reduce the unemployment rate in Nigeria? Okay. Now, are you doing this just because you want to lower unemployment or is this going to just to charity or are you, do you want to make money from this? For all, all, all of us. For all of us. So you want to help people and you want to make money. Ah, okay. I like the way you're thinking. So how are you going to make money from this? Mm, I think, let's say the person says he's going to, they should pay him 100,000. Okay. And then as the person, no, or we, me and the person will agree. And then you say, um, you are going to pay, the, the money is 100,000, 50,000 goes to me, 50,000 goes to you. Interesting. So, <laughs> 50,000 goes to you, 50,000 goes to the person who did the job. So you're going to be earning money from all of the people who come on the platform, which means it's going to be free to come on the platform. So they register for free and they get jobs and you make, uh, anyway, um, from experience, I can tell you that um, you're going to figure it out when it starts. Meaning, it's good you have an idea, there's a problem you want to solve. Once you start solving the problem and you start, you launch the website, you will figure out the business operations part of it and all of that. So, but quick question, how far have you gone on this project? Mm, I've actually just done the sidebar um, and the sign up page. That is the registering page for the people that want to start. Okay, now, somebody is watching this and probably has an idea like you. Can you tell us how this thing works? What are the different components of this website? And what are you going to use to build these different components? Mm, I'm going, I started, like I've already done the sidebar, which is like the navi somewhat like a navigation bar to show you the dashboard, the an analytics, and also like to log out or sign in. That is the buttons. Mm -hmm. And also there will be like the information about the website and that if if you scroll down that's where you see the categories you you want you want to search for and then you type in there's a search there's a search bar there so when you type in the category to take you to the one that you need okay what are you using to create this sidebar you talked about and this navigation and it's dashboard html css and javascript html css javascript that's what we see um, is there any other technology you're using to build another part of it? Um, I've not started building it yet, but I'm going to use um, MySQL for the database and Django for the backend. So, front end, database, back end. So, to get this done, you need knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, MySQL, and Django. What's Django, by the way? Mm. What language do you use to program in Django? Python. Oh, Python. Well, by the way, Django is actually a framework for building on Python. So you already know some Python. You know some HTML. Do you know JavaScript yet? I'm learning. You're learning JavaScript. So in the coming months, what languages or what, what new technologies are you looking forward to learning? Um, I'm, I'm curious about the platform for the VUE. Like that's view. View. Ah, okay. For JavaScript. Okay. I saw my teacher working on it, so I want to see how it would be like if I start. Okay, that's the framework for the front end. Interesting. So you want to learn view in the coming months. Hmm. I think okay, let's so let's let's just take a brief look at your code and see those things you've talked about. What part of this is the most difficult thing for you for now? Where have you had the toughest challenge? Sidebar. The sidebar. Are you working on this project alone? Yes. Do you mind collaborating with somebody on this project? Yes. You're not sure? You want to make all the money alone? Yes. Uh, okay, so what if somebody is out there and he's a very fantastic back-end developer, works with Django and says, you know what, Switchy, can we work together? You work on the front end, I work on the back end, and we share the money, you own a percentage of the company, I own a percentage of the company, is that like something like you want to consider something like that? Yes. Are you sure? Okay, so well, um, this is Richie. What amazes me the most about Richie is Richie is less than a year programming. And you can already see the way he's thinking, thinking about problems, thinking he's already he's no longer thinking about how just to make money for himself, thinking how do I solve the problem of 66 million people in Nigeria? 
now this is what programming does it makes you think of problems and solutions so i want you to speak to somebody who is curious and saying i want to learn programming but i don't know where to start can you tell the person what to start with how sh what should they start learning from what should they do and what attitude should they develop so that they don't give up along the way i don't know if you've had you talked about at some point you were frustrated so tell us about that and what should people prepare for in their journey into becoming programmers so just look at the audience and talk to them i think you should start with a um, block block and um, block programming like you should use scratch and anytime you're frustrated what i do is like i drop the my laptop and then i rest or go do an, or go do other things and then when i'm ready for the when i'm ready to continue i come back to it and then that's when your brain will cool down and then that's when you have your brain will be cleared and then you're ready to do what you're supposed to do and if you're frustrated you can go online and search for what you need or you can meet someone that you already know knows what you're doing very very well and then you can ask questions wow thank you very much richie and thank you for joining us on this episode and we are looking forward to the launching of any work in by the way when this project launches he's going to be needing investors he's going to be needing partners so feel free to reach out to richie you can reach out to us and we can connect you with richie you want to be part of you want to you want to promote you want to make sure that this project launches richie what class are you by the way just which is in jest too so i mean this is something that he's doing alongside school so he needs all the support all the motivation all the help he needs and that's why we are showcasing richie to you to show you what he's doing and you are out there you want to learn to code start now because the future does not belong to the innovators of the past these are the innovators of the future once again thank you for joining us today my name is david Ogunshola, and this is the early coding show Thank you.